Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm an LPC here in the state of Michigan. And I want to give you some, um, hopefully perspective or invite you into some perspective of why altruism is so important and how it can be such a beautiful thing to contribute to your overall mental health and wellness. So when we say altruism, we're talking about reaching out and doing something for someone else's good without it being contingent on reciprocity or you needing to receive something back. So just doing good in the universe. And it, we know that it's a good thing. We see all of these kind of pay it forward stories, people paying for each other in line, you know, people just doing, you know, big acts of courtesy and it makes us all feel good. But there's, there's actual science there to support that it's one of the things that is so helpful, especially when we're in a personal season of despair. If we reach out and do good for others, not do good for others at our own expense and exhaust ourselves, but do good things for others in kind of short little, um, uh, short little interjections in our day, it can be really paramount in helping us gain a bigger perspective and still put good out into the world even when we're kind of constricting on some hard stuff. And that's one of the issues with uh, seasons of high distress is often we constrict and we narrow in and we have tunnel vision on the hard, the, the sad, the scary, whatever it is. And what altruism can do is it can help us um, lessen our constriction. It can help us expand out just a little bit. And so I was talking with a woman last week and you know, metaphorically speaking, her life is on fire right now. She is having such, such a hard season. She's gone several decades of kind of exhausting herself, being everything for everyone. And I may be overstating things, but that's what she's feeling right now emotionally. And so she comes in and she's beleaguered and exhausted and she just wants to tap out of life. And I have the audacity to say to her, well, I need you to do a few things. Let's work on some daily mental health hygiene stuff. Let's work on some daily uh, acts of self-care and let's reach out and do something generous to others. And she's like, oh, I just don't have energy to give. And I say, I think it's paramount that we do something that's altruistic and that's other centric that puts good into this world. Because at the end of every day, when you come to it, you know, exhausted and kind of really just um, disengaged from life or um, overwhelmed with kind of despondency, if you can lay your head on the pillow at night and say, oh, at least I spread something in someone else's world that was a bright light, that is something we can hold on to and we can do it in any season. So the way I started my day today was there's three people that came to mind this morning kind of after my uh, morning devotion. And I just said, you know what? I want to quick let them know that I care. So I reached out to my little brother. He's, he's one of my superstars. And I just said, hey, number one, I love you. And number two, if you ever forget it, refer back to number one. And it's a dorky little text message. But he, at some point in his day, will look at it and be like, oh, cool, she thought of me and she loves me. And of course I do and he knows that, but it's for my good that I let other people know that they are loved and they are valued. I reached out to a former neighbor of mine and I just, hey, I was thinking about you and I love you and I want you to have a good Wednesday today. Hopefully this drops on a Wednesday so that translates well, but either way, whatever day of the week it is, I'm recording it on a Wednesday. And then I just reached out to another woman from my church and I just said, hey, I was thinking about you today, can't wait to see you soon. That's all it is, you know, 15 seconds in each text of energy. And I know that I just infused a little bright spot into three people's day. Now, several weeks ago, uh, one of the reasons I kind of have this as a, a fresh topic on my brain, several weeks ago, um, one of the things I do on Fridays is I spend time for about an hour um, in a local assisted living facility and I just sit with some people who don't um, necessarily have people that visit them all that often. And several weeks ago, I wasn't able to go because there was a big COVID outbreak. I experienced like actual agitation and frustration that I wasn't able to go do it. Not because like they needed me or, um, you know, they were missing out. No, it's because I wanted to be there. I wanted to do something that I derived joy from, even though it's, you know, theoretically for someone else's benefit. Putting good into the world feels good to us. It reminds us that there's good out there. It reminds us that we're not alone. And when we show up and do good and we can assume that others are out there showing up and doing things that are integrity and kind and, and altruistic, the world feels a touch better. But it feels a touch better when we show up and when we do our part. I don't know about you, but one of my sole goals in this life is to take my little corner of the world and paint it a little bit more beautifully. Because there's too much pain and there's too much hurt and there's too much bad out there. And I need to know that I'm at least offsetting it a touch and putting good out there. That's my desire. 
And I can do that even in seasons of high distress. I can pick up my phone and let someone know I love them. I can go into an assisted living facility for an hour a week and just say to people, hey, I wanna hear your story. I want to love you up close. I can call people and just say, hey, how are you doing? We can all do that. These small little gestures that infuse love and infuse some sort of courtesy into our day. And it might be an exhausting season, but it's for our good to show up anyway and do the quick little gestures that remind people that we care because it's not actually about us. It's about what our opportunities are. It's about putting stuff out there that reminds us that love is out there and that good things are out there. And in seasons of despair, I think we desperately need that reminder, but we get to show up first and, and remind ourselves that we can show up even in the heart. I don't know that that all came out as smoothly as I wanted it to, but what I do know is we have opportunities to spread love, to spread healing, to spread joy. And I hope you join me in that because there's people all around us that are spreading toxicity, spreading hate, spreading negativity. I'm not gonna join that camp and I'm gonna offset that camp by doing as much as I can to spread love around me. So I hope you join me.